Implementing switch case in Python. Hello everyone, you are most welcome to my channel. Today we shall be learning how to implement switch case in Python. Now, Python does not actually support switch case or doesn't have a, a keyword switch just like other languages like Java, JavaScript, it doesn't. So what we're going to do here is we're going to be using dictionary mappings and functions. Now, there are other ways you could do this. You could use uh, classes. You could also use the if else ladder to achieve the same thing. But in this particular video, we shall be learning how to implement it using dictionary mappings. So, let's get started. So, before I get to start, my name is Rune Atuhaire and I'm also known as Afroboytex and I'm glad that you're here. So, as I mentioned earlier, Let's start by defining, I'm going to implement a simple switch case statement for days, for the number of days in a week. So I will start by defining functions. I will define maybe a function called Sandy. Uh, this function will return basically Sandy. That means I have to do this for all the days, so I have to copy this. Week for all the seven days. So, uh, Sunday, this is Monday. Tuesday, this is Wednesday, this is Thursday. And lastly, we shall do for Saturday. Basically, what we've done here, we have created functions which will help us uh, in our switch case statement. So we shall go ahead now and we define a switcher. So a switcher is basically a dictionary that is going to help us achieve this. Just like I said, we map them. So we shall call this switcher. Which is a dictionary. Takes in a value of zero. We all know that zero is Sunday. Then one is Monday. Then two is Tuesday. Then um, three. Three is Wednesday. Tuesday, 
Yeah, so what's basically happening here is these are the functions we created earlier on and you have mapping them as values in the dictionary keys of the switcher. So what you're going to now to do is you just create a function which help us implement this which we shall call switch which will take in a day of week. Then if it takes in a day of week, what we want to do is whenever we pass it a value, just like how switch case is implemented in other languages. Well if it is case one, that is case one for example, that is a Monday, so you want it to return that day of the week. So what happens here is that we shall now return we shall return actually our switcher. Now the dictionaries there's a, a method called get which helps us get uh, it takes into parameters uh, which helps us get values and keys and key names it takes in key name and then value but for now let's call day of week so uh, now what happens here is when we call this function switch it goes ahead to call to return our switch out a dictionary which in turn gets the day of the week which is implemented there so it's, this is going to be an integer type that is being passed in here under our switch function so what it does if you return 4 if it gets 4 let's say 4 because our keys here are numbered from 0 up to 6 it is 4 that means it has to get Thursday but remember Thursday is a function yes it's a function so for us it, to be able to call this function and if not there's no way how we can implement how you can call this from here just by doing this because this is not a function what we can do is we can just put this parenthesis outside to invoke the call so uh, now let's see our program let's call our switch which takes in two let's save that so we expect it to be a choose actually since today is a saturday let me put in six so you save that i had already created my file as switch.py um yeah we run the command line we have perhaps forgot a comma so basically have oh yeah we forgot commas uh dictionaries do take commas sorry about this so just come and put commas here save again uh, go back to your command line it again yeah to bring Saturday so my challenge to you is uh, day of the week here yeah, make sure uh, to get a default valid say someone passes in something like 60 69 which is not in the switcher as a key I want you to get a default value here by implementing something here in the get method uh, get you takes two parameters one can be option uh the one that is the default value in case you find the key is not there so i want you to do that as a challenge but that's a hint i've given you so thank you so much have a great one in case you want to enjoy the reading please check out the description i've included my blog where i'm talking about this fully thank you have a blessed day do not forget subscribe